Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Fortnite on a Chromebook in 2021. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel with post notifications on to get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. And if you want to go out of your way to support my channel, you can buy my memberships linked in the description below or you can hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button. I have amazing perks such as gifts, emojis, and more perks just for you guys to enjoy, including members-only live streams and a members-only Discord where you guys can chat with me and the other members. If you're asking about the members-only live streams, I host them once a week for members level 3 and up to watch. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, in fact, enjoy this video, like I just said, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to hit 50k to 100k by the end of the year. All right, guys, I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so before we start this tutorial, you'll need to go to these two websites, which are linked in the description below, as always, which will be the Epic Games Store and the GeForce Now website, both linked in the description below. You want to go to the Epic Games website first, then you want to go to the top right here and hit sign in. If you have an Epic Games account, just sign into your Epic Games account right here. But if you don't have an Epic Games account, click don't have an Epic Games account and hit sign up right here. But if you have an account just like me, I'm going to sign in with Xbox Live right here. Alrighty guys, so now you can see that I'm clearly signed in at the top right here, DN Scythe, I am signed in to the Epic Games Store. Now what you guys want to go do is go to the GeForce Now website, which I said at the beginning of the video is linked in the description below as always. You want to go to the top right here and hit login. It will put you on this website. If you don't have an NVIDIA account, click join today, but if you do, just hit that little NVIDIA box right here. And then go ahead and sign into your account with your Gmail or username and password. But since I've already previously signed into this, I can just quickly sign back in just like that. And when it says you're logged in, close this tab and get ready to start gaming. Close this tab, go back to this one. It will refresh and you will be logged back into your account or logged into your brand new account if you just made one. Now what you want to do is go to the search bar right here and type Fortnite. What you want to do is hit add to library, then go to your library right here, or say my library, then you want to hit play. And then this little thing will pop up right here saying looking for the next available rig, gamers ahead of you, and then a certain amount of number. For me, it's 122. And what you want to do is wait for this to go all the way down to zero or one, and then the game will load up and then you guys can play. If you have seen my past Fortnite videos, you have seen that this does actually work. I'll leave a link to those in the iCard up right now in the top right corner, and you can go check that out for proof that this does work. And this is how you get Fortnite on on your Chromebook in 2021. Hey everybody, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications on my channel. If you also want to subscribe to my channel, this is a perk for subscribing. If you subscribe to my channel and comment down below, I subscribed, I will give your comment a heart and I will give you a shout out in my next video. So here are the shout outs for this video on the screen right now. Go search up their channel and subscribe to them. Show them some love and support because they have the shout outs for this video. If you enjoyed this video, I really hope you did. And yeah, I'm just going to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.